Sakari, baby. All oh, praise it to the most high. You know what's going on, man. What's going on, brothers? You know how we're doing it. What's that, a hundred? That's oh, a hundred, hundred rounds round. That shit got the titties on it. They got yeah, the nuts know. on it. You know what's going on. Oh, All right, Shalom, Israel. Shalom. All right, we're back here again with another lesson through the spirit and power of our heavenly father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. <laughs> Before we begin this lesson, we're first off, we're going to give all honor, praise, and glory to our heavenly father, Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makar Kadash. All right, we want to give a double honors to the elders and the apostles out there, chiefly of Great Millstone, where us two learned this truth from. We're not officially a part of Great Millstone, but we will say that we do learn strictly under their doctrine because we recognize them as having the hundred percent truth in these end times, and they be and we recognize them as the true prophets that the most high is sent in these end times to show us the way to salvation before the destruction of Babylon the Great, aka America. Okay. <clears throat> Now, what inspired us to do this lesson is a video that I came across recently, and uh, I thought this needs to be addressed because there's basically it's very important that we um, abstain from all appearances of evil and conduct ourselves in a manner that represents our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. In a, in a wise manner, should I say, okay? Because a lot of people, you know, seem to be doing things here and there that are uh, not representing our Lord in a, in a right way, man. And it's putting a stain on the ministry, okay? And um, making us look like what Esau is trying to paint us out to be, basically. It gives him ammunition, you know? to make us look like some kind of hate group <clears throat> or extremists or you know whatever they want to call us whatever they're trying to label us to be black identity extremists etc but really all we do is read the bible but you know being that the adversary our adversary east or the devil is out here trying to um paint us all uh in a certain light <clears throat> in a certain um way it's very important that we walk wisely in this earth, man. You know, you got to really observe and, and, and be careful how you tread in this truth. As a, when you're calling yourself a man of the Lord that wants to teach the Bible, we, are, we then are signing up to be representatives of our Lord Jehovah Shai, man. You know, and I don't think people are really considering, you know, the responsibility <coughs> that this holds. So this is what inspired me to, uh, us to come up with this lesson is because, you know, we recently seen a video uh, <clears throat> from a camp that is not of Great Millstone, you know, go figure, that, you know, uh, the way they handled themselves was extremely unwise, should I say, man, you know, so... Yeah, how Ratazar yeah, I'll play that clip in a few minutes, but this is what this lesson is going into. Slightly. No, you're good. Um, but yeah, the, the scriptures tell us, you know, that we have to abstain from uh, all appearances of evil. And that's in the book of uh, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22. It says abstain from all appearances of evil. You know, that's, it's, it's written there clear as day. You know what I mean? So when you're out here posting on social media with, with, weaponry you're out here acting a certain way that that you know isn't sort of like my brother mentioned walking in wisdom then it, it it leaves you open to you know to have uh, a, a negative light sh um or a negative um connotation behind the the whole thing you know to, sh to shine you in a, a negative light should i say mm -hmm. but um but yeah and that's just that's not you that's not being wise man you know it's uh you know there's plenty of scriptures on this we're going to bring out so you know yahweh ratazar man this lesson will be edifying to you hopeful elect out there who are diligently seeking to grow and watching our videos not for entertainment but you're applying wisdom and storing up as much knowledge and wisdom and understanding as you can in these end times you know, and that's another good one we can put on deck. Uh, wisdom would be the stability of thy yeah, times, yeah. you know. 
That's another good preset because the thing is, you know, in these end times, we got to walk wisely in order to uh, endure to the end because those are the ones that are going to be saved. Those are the ones that are going to make it, the ones that endure to the end, man. And, you know, if you're unstable, you know, like your uh, elder Manata Zakba <laughs> likes to say, you know, you got wobbly deer legs, then, you know, if you're unstable in this truth, man, got Bambi legs, then you're going to fall, okay? Because you're not walking with wisdom, you know, with maturity and growth. we got to mature and grow in this truth, man, you know? So, um... I just quickly want to bring out the book of uh, Ephesians, chapter 5 and verse 15. It says, see then, well, I'm going to start at 15, so lucky I'm going to read on down. It says, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Okay? Circumspectly is like, you know, um, that word circumference or circle, you know, it means round, doesn't it? It means a full circle. So circumspectly, when you take the circum, you know, it means to look around you, you know, walk with wisdom and look around you, you know. You're supposed to see the evil and avoid it, man, you know, like a prudent man would do. The scriptures say a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, you know. A fool will walk into a, a, a trap, you know. By not walking in wisdom, man. Right? But yeah, we must walk circumspectly and not as fools. We gotta be wise, scriptures say here, man. It says, redeem in the time, this is verse 16, redeem in the time because the days are evil. And we are in very evil times right now, man. There's evil all around us and it's continually growing on in every crevice of this world, man, this polluted planet. Okay? You know, you got Esau, busy as hell, man. This man don't sleep. You know, constantly trying to uh, smear us, smear our image and make us out. He's trying everything he can to make us look like a hate group. And the last thing we need to do is give him ammunition, man. I could just see him now, you know. He gets a hold of a video of us. Well, I wouldn't say us, but, you know, it's people out there that are trying to call themselves... Israelites in the truth that are not walking with wisdom, you know, Esau gets a hold of a clip that he can use to his advantage. This man's rubbing his hands together, man. You know, don't give him that. Don't give him that ammunition. You gotta walk wisely, man, okay? So this is uh, Ephesians 5 and uh, 17. It says, Wherefore be ye not unwise but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Okay? If, if you are reading and applying these scriptures to your life, then you will understand what the, uh, the will of the, the Lord is, man. The will of the Lord is for us not to make him look bad, man, like he's, you know, you might as well walk around with a shirt saying, Yahweh Shai is a black identity extremist, a fringe t-shirt, you know what I mean? Because that's what you're basically saying when you're acting like damn animals out there with fringes on. Okay? Representing this truth in a disgusting manner. Come with me, please. What's you you notice to appear. Please walk this way. What's he, what's he gentlemen? You three gentlemen for what? work with the officers. For what? For what? You're going to get issued NTAs. Please Why? cooperate Why? or you're going to go to jail for noise ordinance violation. You guys what's are the noise ordinance? Five decimal, noise Does decimal. the Lord do that to you? If you don't what? cooperate, you're going to Yeah, the Lord did that to us. We rejoice it. Right. Call, 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 call the Lord Yahweh Shabbos. Call the Lord Yahweh Shabbos. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's the noise? What's the noise? Sir, walk this way. You're going to go to jail. What's the noise? decimal? Walk this way. What's the noise? They got to explain it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hey, yo, yo, let my brother go. Yo, let him go, let him go. You get my point, man. I got that precept you called, uh, yeah, kind of. 
Yeah, so this is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. That's right. You know? So, yeah, like, like my brother was saying, wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of, of our times. You know, the times that we're coming into, if you're not rooted in this thing, if you're not learning, if you're not growing, and, and trying to seek the Lord while you can, you're going to be left out there. You're going to be like uh, the times of Noah. Mm -hmm. you know, Noah was out there prophesying, building the ark, you know, and then people, he, I'm, I'm pretty sure he had scoffers laughing at him, you know, until the day the flood came. Mm -hmm. Now he ain't looking so crazy, you know, and that's like, like what you're seeing now. You're seeing a lot of uh, things that, uh, prophecies that are taking place, you know, and one of those prophecies is that you'll be hated uh, for for the the Lord's namesake? You know what I mean? Like you're going to be hated above all these nations. And one of those things that that potentially can lead into that is people seeing you know Israelites doing things that are, are not according, moving in accordance to wisdom. Um, that's exactly you know what I, mean? what I was thinking. Yeah, man. So I mean, you know, you have to use wisdom in in these times, and that's where you find the knowledge in these scriptures. Mm -hmm. And apply these scriptures to your life man you know that's why the scriptures say you know in philippians 2 and 12 that you know we must uh work out our own salvation with fear and trembling okay that fear and trembling bit means with a seriousness because this is a very serious thing we're involved in here man you know and just because you know the breakdowns and you're wearing your fringes and this and that doesn't mean that you're gonna you're guaranteed to make it man you know you gotta work, walk wisely in this world and if you're not walking wisely you're gonna end up being sifted okay because the scriptures like my brother just uh said here do you want to just quick repeat that yeah so this is uh isaiah 33 and 6 it says and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and oh. strength of salvation oh. the fear of yahweh is his treasure Oh, that's it, man. You know, the fear of the Lord, man. If you truly fear the Lord, you would apply these wis uh, these scriptures to your life and walk in wisdom. And that will give you stability in the times we're living in now, man. Okay? Because we're going to need as much stability as we can get. Things are about to get really crazy in this earth, man. And, and if you had a glimpse of what's coming, maybe you'd tighten up, you know? The people who are the shoe fits, you know? I ain't speaking to anybody in particular, but anybody out there that, you know, wants to be a part of this truth or is a part of this truth, hey, I hope this re this lesson resonates with your spirit, man, and you just, you see it for what it is and just consider walking that little bit extra wise in these end times, man, because it will be your stability, all right? Now, this is the book of um, 1 Peter, chapter 5, and verse 8. It says, be sober. It says, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, which is Esau Edom, okay, and his system, his propaganda machine, you know, every anything to do with the system, man, is basically you can consider the devil, man. It's the opposition. It's the adversary. It's adverse to the way of truth. You know, but your adversary, the devil, Esau, says, uh, as a walk, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom he may devour. This is the key, key word in that scripture is who he may devour. And the only ones he's uh, permitted to devour are the ones that are walking contrary to the ways of our heavenly power, man, our heavenly father, man. Okay. So don't be one of those ones that the the devil is able to devour, man. Okay, walk in wisdom so you can have that protection around you, because that's our stability. Is this is walking in wisdom, you know? And and you know we're gonna play that clip because we want to show you what inspired this lesson. Really, I thought this was a lesson that needed to come out because. We've just had a situation where there was a false flag terror attack on a train which has got holes all in it and now Esau is using that to his advantage to say that he would, 
this this madman on a train if 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 this incident did happen or or not i don't know but this mad this supposed madman on a train that shot up people you know he he apparently um was affiliated with a black hate group or something like that which is basically uh esau trying to pave the way to come at us okay because this truth is the the biggest weapon against the powers that be that you lot like to call the Illuminati, man. You know, all your marching and voting and, you know, crying. <laughs> it ain't doing nothing against them, man. Yeah, they got this game on lock, okay? They've got this thing cleverly planned out. But the words of this Bible and the understanding of this Bible, the ones that have the understanding of this Bible, they're a threat to him, man. They're a threat to the powers that be, these uh, these so-called Illuminati, man. Okay? Yeah, and if I can add, uh, you got uh, Israelites out there um, that be posting on social media, like, their weapons, you know, and I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not attacking any, anybody out there that has weapons that they have protection or whatever the case may be, but you don't see them, like, posting all over social media like, like they're in some type of gang or something like that. You know, that, that incident that happened in, in uh, I think it was Brooklyn, uh -huh. uh, that incident that happened, all they got to do is just say, look, he was affiliated with the black hate group. These black hate groups uh, consist of this group, this group, and this group. And as you can see from their pictures, they're, they've got weapons. So and all guns with titties on it. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> exactly. So, so I mean, stuff like that is is what the, the, the devil Esau Edom can use against us, oh. you know, for to, to blame us basically. Uh -huh. And that that's just wisdom would say, okay, yeah, you have the guns, that's fine, you know. But I mean when you're posting it all over social media and you're just like, yeah, posting up, you know, you got it in your music you know, your your truth music videos, it, it's it's not a good look. It's really not. That's it. You know, and I'm just gonna read that preset quickly again because so it's fresh in your head. But this is um First Peter five and eight it says be sober, be vigilant, you know, you know, be alert, man. Be wise as a serpent, okay, in other words, okay? Be sober minded, you know, and be vigilant. <clears throat> it says, um, for your adversary, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, seeking walk up for bat, seeking whom he may devour, man. Okay. So he's basically looking for ammunition to devour us, man, to come at us, to have something on us. And when you're not walking wisely and toting guns, talking about the nuts on it and the titties on it or whatever, man, you know, all for vain glory, you know, blatantly what it is, it's not walking wisely. As a leader, that's, you know, that's, that's dishonorable, man, you know. I ain't saying you can't own a weapon, ain't nothing about that. Ain't no, ain't no law says you can't have a weapon. Okay, but you know we do, we don't use weapons as our defense. We use the scriptures, but that's a whole other topic, man. That's not what we're talking about here. But at the end of the day, you just got to walk in in wisdom, and that's not walking in wisdom. And it's constantly a thing with you know certain camps that they're 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 having to be told about issues like this, you know. And it's just not wise. It's not a good. Uh, you're not being a good leader to your massive congregation. You have a large congregation, you know. You gotta walk wiser than that, man. And I ain't gonna say too much more on it because this ain't a lesson to sort of bash ca different camps and stuff, but this is a lesson basically sh uh, opening your eyes and pointing you in the right direction to walk in wisdom, you know. Because we don't want that appearance of being a, 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 a black identity extremist group or whatever, man whatever they're trying to paint it's out to be. Um, yeah, so um, I have a precept here. And uh, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 7. And it says, So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. And all we're doing is we're just sort of letting you know that it's not a good look. You know, like my brother said, we're not here to bash any camps or anything like that. It's just, you know, certain things 
you know, when you, you use wisdom and you can see it through the spirit, you can see, okay, well, Esau would definitely use that clip oh. to, to blame the ministry. Oh. You know what I mean? He would, he would definitely blame it. And, you know, when you're sort of aiding in that, you know, certain things you can, you can do to, a, you know, to avoid that. But, I mean, obviously, it is going to happen, you know, because it's, it's written that, you know, Esau is going to come down having great wrath. But at the end of the day, it's just like when you're doing stuff like that, you, you are sending out a, a bad image. You know what I mean? Mm, exactly. <coughs> and uh, that leads me to my precept, actually, man. Okay. And if you're done. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. yeah. All right. So this is the book of Second Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 3. It says, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. Okay, and that's that's all I really need to read. That's the highlight of that part of uh, of the chapter. You know, is that scripture right there? You know, you gotta do. You gotta walk uh, wisely to the point where you're not doing anything to cause any offenses that the ministry be not blamed. You know, the 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 name of the Lord, basically, man. Okay, because if we're out here as representatives of our Lord Jehovah Shai, it's not wise to be um, acting in certain ways. I'm gonna just put it like that, you know, acting in a way that's not wise. You know, you got it's very important, man. I can't stress this enough. How important it is that we walk in wisdom, you know, because this is a very serious um, thing that we're involved in, man. You know, and if you want the Lord to be pleased with you, you know, because He's watching everything we do. And if you want him to be pleased with you, then walk in wisdom and, and represent his name in a good manner, you know? All right. Now, before we um, bring out any more precepts, I just want to quickly roll that clip that I had in mind, the one that inspired us to do this lesson, because this is a way that, you know, this is, you need to see this in order for you to understand uh, what not to do in this truth. So I'm gonna just go ahead and roll that. Oh my God! So yeah, as as you could see from the clip, I mean, you know, that that was a bit out of order. You know, and any of you new brothers um, that are coming into this thing, uh, that are, I guess, to the point where you're out there on the highways and hedges teaching, this is a way that you shouldn't act. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to bring grief to yourself in, in that, that aspect. It's like in, in that clip, you'll, you'll notice that Esau can spin that any way he wants. Like, yeah, they're an aggressive gun toting, uh, uh, angry mob that, that just, go around causing trouble, you know what I mean? And, and, you know, you just see that as an example of something that he could do. I'm not saying that's what he will do, but as as you can see, like, just from the way those brothers acted, that, that wasn't using wisdom. Okay. And uh, I've got a precept here that I want to bring out. Um, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 7, verse 9. And it says, Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. So, as you can see, that, that brother was, was quite angry, you know. I mean, you, you know, you, I, I could see where he's coming from, you know, in a sense that, you know, you're being detained by the devil. But in the same token, you know what I mean? Like, you need to um, be not hasty uh, in thy spirit to be angry. Like, you know, you got to be calm. You know, if he would have sort of been calmer, I'm sure that that situation probably would have went a completely different way. And there, there's other videos as well that that you can see where brothers lose their 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 temper and they're they're quick to anger when 
you know, it, it didn't have to go that far, you know what I mean? Um, so a precept I want to quickly bring out is in the book of Matthew, and this is uh, chapter 5 and verse 25, and this, you know, this fits that clip perfectly that you just saw, okay? Because the thing is, a wise thing for that man to do, you know, yeah, you know, hey, we are going to get harassed sometimes by police or, you know, people are going to cause trouble when we're actually out in public in the, sh in, in the streets before these demons out here in public, okay, they've got all kind of spirits on them. When you're out before them, things are going to happen that are kind of out of your control. But you need to walk wisely during situations like that when spirits are getting aroused and you got to walk, you got to, um, you got to use wisdom, you got to apply wisdom during those times, man. So this is the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 25. It says, agree with thine adversary quickly whilst thou art in the way with him. Lest that any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Okay? And not only that, but you could put a stain on the ministry, you know, acting out of character during a time where you could just, hey, it is what it is, you know? This is the thing, yeah? If you're getting arrested, the thing not to do is to kick off and act like a damn animal, okay? Because that's happened many times amongst other camps, you know? And the same... Like I said, this ain't a, a lesson to camp bash, but it's just basically pointing out things that you shouldn't do in this truth, okay? Because, you know, and I'm speaking from experience myself, you know? There's been times in the world where I've had situations with the police and I've acted like a fool and it, it didn't really do me any favors, you know? But in this, in this case, we're in the truth now. And we have to walk in a certain manner, you know. We're kings, man, and we have to walk like kings. We're in. We come into the knowledge that we are the top nation of this earth. Okay, you got to walk with a certain level of um, decency, should I say, in this world. After you come into the knowledge of who you are in this world, man, you got to walk uprightly. Okay. But it says, "Agree with thine adversary." This is Matthew five and twenty-five. Agree with thine adversary quickly whilst thou art in the way with him. And that's the point I want to highlight. Because our adversary is the devil, Esau, which can go into the police officers, okay, these slave patrols, slave patrollers, man, you know, agree with them, you know, just, hey, keep the peace with them, man. You know, if they're going to arrest you, isn't that you ain't going to do any, you ain't going to make any difference, you know, by kicking off. You're only going to make things worse, really. But when you're wearing fringes and you're claiming to be a man of the Lord and you're here kicking the door of the damn the uh, the police car, man, you make us look like we're a, you make us look violent. We're not violent, okay? Scriptures say we've got to be uh, uh, wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. We're harmless, and that's what we want to show people. We don't want to show people that we're violent and make them think that that's how we are, because that's not how we are, man. I got a precept here as well. Yeah, come. It's uh, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter sixteen, verse seven, and it says, "When a man's ways please Yahweh, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him." Oh, that's a banging precept, man. So if you if you know what I mean, you agree with them. You ain't trying to buck up against them. You ain't giving them any any ruckus. You ain't you know like causing any sort of uh, grief or mischief or stress or whatever. You know the Lord. Your ways please the Lord. It will make even your enemies be at peace with you. That's right. The, the amount of times that you you know you have uh, people that come up and they're just calm. They they're agreeable. You know they understand. You know they talk. You know uh, with a calm mind. You know what I mean. The chances are that the police will be like, oh yeah, you know what? He's not a threat. He's not a problem. So we are not going to push or, or aggravate him. We're just going to you know we're just going to uh, move him from the situation. And you you know on on your way. When you're kicking and screaming like that, obviously that cop, he he, he was happy to, to throw you in the back of that van. That's, I mean, uh, that's right, man. Yeah, I've got a, a precept also in the book of Proverbs, and this is Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 1. It says, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. 
you know. And the book of Proverbs, for instance, is a, book, uh, a part of the Bible that is packed with wisdom. And if you're new in this truth and, you know, you don't know where to start in the Bible, I, personally, I highly suggest you start in the book of Proverbs, man, or the book of Sirach, otherwise known as the book of Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, okay? Because they're both packed with a lot of wisdom. And you will, you know, grow in your maturity and how you walk your, how you walk through this life, man. It will help you a lot. It will guide you in the right way to walk through this life by applying uh, the book of Proverbs to your life, man. Okay? But I'm going to read that again. A soft answer. This is Proverbs 15 and 1. A soft answer turneth away wrath. So a soft answer will turn away anger. But if you're here cussing and yelling and kicking off man you ain't doing yourself no favors you're not going to turn away wrath you're just going to make the situation even more heated in the spirit man you got to look at things with a spiritual eye it's not wise you know what i mean it's not walking with wisdom it says a soft answer turn off away wrath anger but grievous words stir up anger okay so if you're here cussing and and being grievous and spitting out grievous words you're going to stir up anger and that's just common sense. But sometimes, you know, you've got to read these things as a reminder, man. Exactly. Another, another point is that when, you know, you have somebody that's, that's listening and then they see you acting that way, they're going to think, he ain't no different, you yeah. know what I mean, than, than people in the world. You know, he's, he's crazy. That's right. You know what I mean? I've got, I got another precept here. And this, this is why, you know, we, we sort of, you know, give thanks, praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh because he's... he's He's packed it all in this book, and you just, you know, when you have the right teachers, you know, the right teachers that, that show you these scriptures and, and, you know, give you that, uh, teach you that wisdom, you, you can apply it. This is uh, the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 29, and it says, Let no corrupt communication proceed out, your, uh, out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. So when the hearers are listening to the wisdom and you're acting in accordance and you're not bucking up and you're just teaching the word how it's supposed to be taught, you know, you, chances are you'll gain more people that, that will want to listen to what you have to say. Mm -hmm. And it will give them something to think about or contemplate or meditate on. That's right. And, and if the, the Lord is, is dealing with them, the Spirit is dealing with them, you know what I mean? You wake up another brother. Or so, sister. Mm -hmm. So we always want to, you know, try our, our best to just not be so combative, man. You know what I mean? Sometimes you, you can't help it, like in, in a sense of if you got a scoffer that's, that's standing on your signs, getting in your face, you, you have to sort of use wisdom. You know what I mean? You got to get them out of your, your space. You know what I mean? But in a sense of, you got an authority like the the centurions coming up. You ain't gonna buck up to them and, and call them the, the devil mm -hmm. and, and tell them that their their kids are gonna burn and you're gonna dash their kids against. You know what I mean? Because I mean, I mean that is gonna happen, right? Like, because the scriptures say it is. But I mean, just yelling out, at, you know, a centurion. You're just giving them all the the, yeah, the it, man. firepower they need to to bust you and, and make us look like some some sort of. Um, black identity extremist. That's group, right. You know what I mean? So that's right. Here's another one for the book of Proverbs. Um, uh, and this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1. I'll start at verse 20. It says, Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. Okay, so if you're out here teaching in the streets, you know, trying to fit this prophecy here, being a teacher. You know, because that's, that's what this is talking about. You know, wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. But if you're out here being like fools, man, then you ain't what this scripture is talking about. Because it, it didn't say fools are crying without in the streets, you know. But it says she crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates in the city, she uttereth her words, saying, How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? You know, and by you, see, the thing is, if you're going to read these scriptures and teach these scriptures, you've got to apply what you're teaching, man. You know, and the thing is, if you're out here going on like a fool, 
then you're the one that is uh, being simple, okay? And loving simplicity, you know? It's simplicity to be kicking the back of a cop car like that, man. Kicking off and acting like a damn animal, okay? Making everybody, you know, and, and the scriptures say everyone's going to hate us for the name of the Lord's sake, but not when you're bringing it upon yourself like that, man. You know, that's, you're not fitting that prophecy in innocence. You're... <laughs> You're being a damn nigger, you know, going on like a damn animal and making people hate you for the for and having good reason to hate you, man. But, you know, people are supposed to hate us just for preaching this word, not for kicking the back of a cock cock, okay? So um, uh, let me just finish that um, verse 22. It says, how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge but the point i wanted to highlight is the beginning where it says how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity okay so you gotta walk with wisdom and don't be fools man don't be simple out here man you know <coughs> all right this is the book of um first john chapter four and verse uh I'm going to start at 6, because that's where the point is. All we really need to read is uh, verse 6. It says, We are of the Most High. He that knoweth the Most High heareth us. He that is not of the Most High heareth not us. So when we're teaching you to walk with wisdom, you know, and be circumspect, the ones that are of the Lord are going to hear that and apply it to their life, man. You know, but if you think that you know what you're doing, you're going to seek your, you're going to walk your own path. Hey, there's a path that seemeth right unto a way that seemeth right unto a man, but in the end there are these, the ways of death. You know, there's a scripture that states that, roughly paraphrasing, man. So your way ain't always the right way, man. You, when we're speaking these words of wisdom, you've got to apply them to your life. And we'll read it again. This is um, 1 John chapter 4 and 6. We are of the Most High. He that knoweth the Most High heareth us. He that is not of the Most High heareth not us. Hereby we know, hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So, you know, us that apply these laws and these uh, wise instructions to our life, you know, we know the spirit of truth and we know the spirit of error. Hence the reason why we're bringing this lesson out because we've identified that a few people are, as of late are going off in the spirit, man. That's the spirit of error and we've recognized that and we're bringing it to your attention to help you, you, you know, you people that might be watching this video uh, to not apply foolishness to your life in future, man, okay? So that you can walk that a little bit more wiser. Yeah, so um, I have a... Uh the scripture I want to bring out. This is the uh, the book of Matthew, chapter ten. I'm gonna start at verse sixteen. So it's red letter. So it's Yahweh Shai that's speaking, and it says, "Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves." Bang. So you know you that wisdom. It's saying you need to have that wisdom when you we're out here mixed amongst the wolves. Mm -hmm. You know. It says, be harmless as doves. Mm -hmm. So in other words, don't be, you know, trying to be carnal. That's it, man. You know what I mean? You got to use wisdom and just sort of, I'm not saying be a pushover. So if you got an ear, might come out there pushing you and shoving you. Mm -hmm. You know, you're just going to uh, you know, turn the other cheek. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that like, you don't go out there causing trouble. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. calling people out their name and then winding them up so they will react to, to you just so you can get clicks that's you know? it man mm -hmm. or you know just 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 being unwise like if somebody walks past and they're scoffing and you being all hot-headed you know what i mean that's not being harmless as a dove you know so you know we gotta be harmless out here man you know so that you know we don't look like we're extremists like they're trying to paint us out to be man okay all right, so this is the book of Sirach, chapter 24, and verse 22. He that obeyeth me 
shall never be confounded, and they that work by me shall not do amiss. Okay, so uh, when you obey the law that is written, and you apply it to your life, okay, and you walk, you know, this, this walk, and you do the things that uh, the Lord requires of us by walking in wisdom and, and you know, the, the ministry being not blamed, you know, it says, shall never be confounded, okay, they'll, they'll, the adversary will have nothing on you, man, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll wish they can come against you, but they won't be able to, you know, because they'll have no ammunition on you, they'll have nothing against you, you know, and that's just a small example, but basically, applying the laws, the, the law to the best of your ability to your life, man, and walking in a way and obeying the Lord, okay, and his instructions, is basically a way for you to be protected and have a like a force field around you, if you get what I'm saying, man. That's that spiritual armor that we need, man. Okay. So, you know, like I said, just apply it to your life and you'll be all right in this truth, man. You, you, you have a good shot at it enduring to the end. So this is the, uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 35. And it says, uh, The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. So if you're walking foolish, okay, which is the opposite of being wise, then you're gonna your promotion or your basically your wages or your reward is gonna be uh, shame, okay? Yeah, and that's a shameful thing to be thrown in the back of a van where hundreds of people staring at you, mm -hmm. all got their phones out recording you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. if yeah. you'd have been wise, you'd have inherited the glory. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Like. I mean, not, not in the sense of like, oh, you're going to be good, you know. I'm just saying like, you would have had a better outcome, uh -huh. you know, so. Because he'll more than likely get rebuked by his leader for that. If his leader is leading, you know, his congregate, their congregation or their camp, should I say, in the right direction and being a good leader, then, you know, he'll get rebuked for that. And that's, you know, that's bringing shame upon yourself, man, you know. You know, rebuke is good for correction and stuff, but it's shameful too. No one wants to be rebuked, you know, that's not a position you want to be in. But, you know, he, he needs to be rebuked for what he did, for the way he behaved, you know. I take my hat off to them out there trying to wake our people up, but there's a certain way you got to go about it, man. Okay? It's more than just going out there and knowing the breakdowns and cutting these devils and proclaiming Esau's... Uh, destruction to his face that they're going into slavery and all that there's more to it than that man you got to walk in wisdom too you got a lot of you are missing that mark and it's a very important thing okay it's a very important part of this ministry is to walk in wisdom all right so last precept i'm going to bring out is the book of matthew chapter 5 i mean 15 and verse 13 it says, but he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. It says, let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Okay. So if you aren't rooted in this thing and planted by the Lord, you will eventually get rooted up. In other words, you're going to get sifted. Okay. So if you're not applying wisdom then you're more than likely one of them ones that aren't rooted by the Lord, man. Okay? Let me read that one more time. This is the book of Mark, chapter 15 and 13. It says, But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. You know? So if you're, if you're not walking in wisdom, you are uh, vulnerable to be in, you, you know, you're putting yourself in danger, man, to the point where you could put, potentially be sifted or rooted up. Same thing, man. Okay. So, you know, just, you know, apply wisdom to your life. And, you know, if you're 
what you're trying to do as 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 a uh, teacher of this truth is you're trying to lead our people. But if you're a blind leader that ain't applying these the wisdom to your own life, then you know you're you're leading the blind, but you're blind yourself. You both go, you and your congregation will fall into a ditch, man. Okay. So you know, I hope this lesson has been edifying. I think that's all we've got for this lesson. But you get the point, man. I mean, we've gone on almost an hour basically explaining how important it is for you to walk in wisdom and this truth. Okay, and I ain't saying that you know we're perfect up here. Everybody still has room to grow. But putting myself in that in them shoes, you know, I know. Like even being new in this truth, you could tell through the spirit that that's off. I'm talking about all the clips that we've played in this video. It's off, man. And you, you know, it is, it's simple stuff, man. That's beginner level stuff, you know. That's stuff that we would have seen a mile off that, you know, would have been, would have been a, a foolish way to behave in this truth. Okay. So I, 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 you know, I pray this lesson has been edifying to you people out there, you know, the hopeful elect that are diligently, you know, trying to learn and gain wisdom and understanding and knowledge in these end times. And, um, you know, just be circumspect out there, man, all right? Because it's a very important part of this ministry, all right? So on that note, man, we'll close it out. Give all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bah Hashem, Rakah Kodash. All right, Shalom. Shalom. Round, round. That shit got the titties on it. They got yeah, the nuts know. on it. You know it's good, oh, man. man.